United now looking into 22 as they're making a later rotation yet again. And this might be a read coming up from E United because remember, we saw it whenever the circle went up here, modification comes out. E United playing now further to the south. How 22 chased behind them and is now gate catch of a stop, though. Also means the fact that Just Too Easy is not going to bump into AKM on the thing. Yeah, I mean, you can see him just, just pulling into Severni for a little bit of coverage, getting behind that ridge line. It's meanwhile, speaking of that ridge lines, we've still got a Kretsche holding on to every. Comes in. 300 is making a committal up on the top of it while Kretsche is running a 2 2. AKM is going to lose their member. Okay, I thought that they weren't going to bump into each other, but AKM took forever to make this rotation. The event, they had the similar ideas in terms of rotation. AKM coming into this one late actually did spot out just too easy, leaving Severni. So we're able dead. to pick up some again. pills from that giant. Need to chase him. I mean, they're getting a little late tomorrow, but there we go. All right, we just wanted that reaction. We wanted. Cameron's not a big fan of his birthday, but we are. We're a big fan of his birthday. We're also a big fan of this fight that has popped off between BBB and Gas Cans. Only old list still up and standing. That nade, though, can be good to get some of those flushes. I would see the flashbang into play, hoping to see if he can get Greg shot. He's down low, but he managed to pop off that heel right in the nick of time. This is a 1v1 between these two teams, and it looks like he knows exactly where old list is. Spots him. That's it. Gas Cans fall early, and it looks like he might have some time to recover. Yeah, he should be able to get Keenan sharp shots over there, so it should be a little bit... A broken vest, that car is on fire. Speaking of cars on fire, a Kretsche trying to drive across the bridge right now as Sonic's going to punish, pick off Kaishin. I mean, this is the unexpected bridge camp of all unexpected bridge camps with Sonic's being there. Now, Kretsche still sending it in, and they've got to run right up next to Droglodidis. There's nowhere else to go. They have got to commit into this. There you go, and I think he does here. Exec's inside, who had a Molotov, shoots it in his hand. It's going to land on Exec and keep him safe, but Viz King spotted out anyway. It is going to get knocked down. Rusty Zera and Necro try to keep it alive for them as Paris, the last one up. You can see Nade out, but he's got nowhere to go. And again, the Yellow Jackets, that line of sight from Cube, are going to get Paris down to 10 HP. This is stalling for just a second. While we do, are going to have 300 as well as just too easy. Still trying to cross where we saw Sonic's at, as well as shoot to kill getting vision on Sonic. So we're starting to see a tidal wave that's happening in the south. Just too easy is having to vert for it because this hillside, they are going to stop right beforehand because they realize where all the firefighting is coming from. There you go. Another nade keeping that pressure on 300 as they are going to get themselves eliminated. The help there from AKM and just too easy. Meanwhile, now Sonic's having fighting. Shoot to kill, still holding down this angle as well, but Ooh. that's going to be a good connection coming up from Luke. Spray's now going to come out just too easy. Where are you going to go? I mean, the answer is really nowhere. They've got not many opportunities. Koda Kid manages to get him and Ragnar mostly into safety, and that's going to come right as Shoot to Kill try and reposition, keeping their resources healthy. In that case, it is going to be vehicles. Koda does get knocked down. Pinta with the Mosin out, trying to see if he can spot out Ragnar. It uh, looks like Ragnar has found just the tiniest little bit of safety in that shack. Yeah, it came at a... North not quite assisting Los HD versus the rest of the Whoa. dodge. And, ooh! It was full send it there. Shoot to kill. Nowhere to go. They chose a dip. It wasn't free. 22 was already here. And that's going to be it for Kurt and Alo. But Penta and Luke 12 might still have they an opportunity. This. They've just got to take out 22 before they can move. But, but SDK knew this. With the way we can see the position coming up for Luke 12 and Penta knew how that they, this was going to go. They felt like they could take the advantage in close range, and but they have to make some type of move. SDK knows that they're gate kept out. 22 is still in position. We still have the fight that's going on over here, but it's going to be United that's now moving into the firefight with Rumblers. Dodge is feeling like they're getting in control, but I don't know if they're aware of what's going to be coming from them because we've still got Sonics that's fighting. Yellow Jackets are about to bump into each other. Dodge is surrounded by teams. And United are creeping down further south. They want that a lot of coverage in this Four late stack. circle. For a sec, is he gonna line it up? No. E Ethan and Hiker, man, I mean, really, they've, they've got to clean this up. But you called it, my, you said the Yellow Jackets are gonna start sending it into this position as Dodge are eliminated. Rumblers don't have any time to recover. E United choose this moment now, and they are spotting Yellow Jackets. He's flood, turning his attention now to Jay Philippe and seeing if he can keep that pressure as Yellow Jackets are going to retreat. Flood speeds another one. While this is going on, Yaho has been holding down the north and the west. New Tropic has just managed to squeeze by them. You can see United trying to contain everything that's going on in the east because they could technically own the best spot if they can deter Yellow Jackets from this point. Sonics are also trying to move in, but it's a firefight everywhere else. That's why E United is so committed into this. They want to deter, and you can see the mess is what's going on as New Tropic just rolled right into Yaho's defended position. I mean, New Tropic had the northern position where Yaho was that previous match where we had the circle game one. 
It took that position that 300 had last time. Unfortunately, they're really struggling to hold on to it because of the pressure that's coming to them from Yahoo. Lampelot, the only one survive, is just going to go ahead and pull away. He's going to let Yahoo just keep himself alive, keep his head down. He hasn't been spotted out oh, by Trogopedus just yet, but there you go. United are now in nade range. Yellow Jackets built a car for it, but that also tunneled where the nades could do this damage. Full squad elimination on the Yellow Jackets. We've got six teams left alive. Yaho have the control point, and they can really navigate a lot of what's going on. The circle is going to shift, go into the north, into the valley, as it does almost every single time you see the circle, so no surprise to any team. Sonic's with the moving factor in the south. efficiency. 22 is still trying to do that, and luckily, Yaho did move up into the north, but they did it to find a better angle. That hill curves around the side. Now they can be closer to the circle and don't have to commit into a close. Much else once you leave the edge of zone, and you can see uh, the United did manage to grab themselves a oh, rock. The big. smokes are That's out, big. but it's not going to be enough. Move now. They yeah. have to run into this. You're right. No, I mean, they absolutely do have to move now. And action to pull all of the attention onto Shrimzy, and that means that the rest of the teammates have that opportunity to find that knock. This is the problem. E United is now having a tidal wave hit them with that knock now. They're trying to reset. It's the same time that Yaho is trying to get control over the north. And while this was the team that had control over so much of the circle, suddenly they are being pinched. Tickleton still way to the south of this, and they are being shot at from near on 360 degrees. Oh there is no cover for them to be found right now as throwables are coming in from so many different angles. It's just a matter of time. They are going to get picked apart, but the kills go Yaho side. I mean, it's just Poonage. Right? Oh, try and uh, get that full recovery. Two players up now. A res did mm. pop. You've still got Troglodytes in the compound. You've still got Lampelot, who's lying prone as a snake. People have mostly forgotten about his existence, and 22 were able to backfill no cover to be found between the pincer angles coming up from Yaho and Sonics. You see, Vinny took quite a bit of blue damage to go back for that motorcycle. I mean, this is going to be a, a really important way for 22 to move. There you go, Necro. Uh, he heard that. He knows he's got to act now or never. He's going to be able to get Balkan down. Vinny can't stop for him. And it looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. I, I, I think Vinny is just kind of torn because he can't go towards Yaho. They're looking in that direction now as well. Yeah, and so, but the problem with it is, is Sonics are starting to take so many shots into it. He's having to stop and look what's going on. Now it's going to be Necro who has opened up the doors. But oh, oh, Mime's got himself. I think that was his last bullet for the arm as well. I was wondering. He was really running out of ammo. He made sure that that last one counted, finding that knock. Two players still standing up for Yahoo. Trogloditas with three alive. They don't have the zone. And they're going to have to make that move now as the Blues have got one minute left until close. And it's just a rush across. Troglides knows they have so few options. Xex just trying to find somewhere to go, but he's going to reveal his backside to Yaho. But it's going to be Necro who gets a knock onto Poonage. And now it's a mutual battle between these two teams. Troglides is committed into this. Necro can't do much. And everything is starting to show up in Sonic's favor. Yeah, I mean, it's a 4v1v1 at this point. If Yaho can't get that res, you can see Balefrost trying to oh. see if he can spot out Poonage. Necro, though, in the blue is just going to see if he can steal something from this. Does manage to get another knock on Poonage right as the res comes out. But Shrimzy takes care of him as well. And now the suddenly them versus what's left of Yaho. 12 kills to their name for Yaho. I, I mean, but things are looking really dire as I say that. Tiggleton with the final kill there. And Sonic's finally get a win on this circle, Natrum. On this circle? Oh, <laughs> car, they missed a game. How In the blue is just going to see if he can steal something from this. Does manage to get another knock on Poonage right as the res comes out. But Shrimzy takes care of him as well. And now the Sonics game versus what's left of Yahoo. 12 kills to their name for Yahoo. I, I mean, but things are looking really dire.